real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Kiki Patrick was hesitant to date the defendant because he is 11 years younger than her, but she gave it a shot. However, Kiki claimed she soon discovered he was cheating on her, and she's suing him because she claims he smashed her computer, bleached her son's clothes, and kicked her car. Defendant Kimari Williams says he loved Kiki, but he admits he snapped after he discovered she was sending sexual videos to his friends, which he has in court today. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Your Honor, me and Kimari had been dating for about six months officially. So he a little young. I was a little skeptical on that. How much younger? 11 years. That's right. Yeah. You're a young man. Go ahead. Young man. But he, he matured in ways too that most young people are not. So I went ahead and gave it a shot. All of a sudden, he started to change and everything like stuff started off how it needed to, regular, lovey-dovey, going out, chilling, being communicative. He was very consistent for his age. All of a sudden, he started changing, and I don't understand what was going on far as why he just started coming home late, like not hitting How me. long after knowing him did you all move in? I'm sorry? How long after knowing him or dating did you all decide to move in together? He, he stayed with his um his grandma deal. So he just come over most of the time and kind of spend a night. He had little things over there, so not a lot. So, so probably how like can three you months after. complain about him not coming home when he didn't live there? It was consistency. Okay. He was just consistent with coming home, just being attentive how he needed to. I got a seven-year-old son. They got attached together, so they real cool. They real close. And he was inconsistent. He became inconsistent. He became inconsistent. After preaching how consistent he's gonna be in just of a man. So like I said, y'all talk. Did you ask him what's up with you? Why are you acting like that? Did you mention any of that? Yes, I did. I'm very communicative. I asked him what's going on, what's the issue. He not talking. He not really testing back. So me being a woman, me being me, I'm trying to cook, have a little night at the crib so we can talk it out. And all of a sudden, he don't show up. He don't answer. <clears throat> so I'm like, what's going on? I, come to find out, he really messing with somebody else. How'd you find out? The phone rang it on and off. Bing, 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 bing. So I'm like, everything all right? Everything cool? He gonna tell me, yeah, everything cool. You ain't about nothing. So me being me, knowing that everything not cool, and he playing off and being distant, I pull up the on phone records. I call Verizon. I get the details and everything. You know Verizon ain't finna lie. So <laughs> I don't this know what point, Verizon does. Go ahead. Yeah, but they ain't gonna lie. You can get everybody text message records, all that. So boom, I found out that he was texting this girl named Keisha. They had been having a couple of outings. They done did a few things, having fun. He sitting here telling her, yeah, I like what you did that night. I'm going to come back over. And how you going back over somewhere? And we already had plans to do something. So clearly, you are going to cut me loose. So I let it play out. I let it play out. The next day, I asked him what's going on. All of a sudden, he I don't know. He just decided to stay at the crib. OK. All right, let me get some background from you, sir. Yeah, Honor. The love woman you. said that you, uh, yeah, you became distant after you all started dating and moving in together, and you all were very much in love, and then you just turned inconsistent. Yana, I love to care for Kiki until I found out she was sending sexual videos to my homeboys. Um, she think that her actions don't have consequences and repercussions, and maybe if she was honest with me from the jump, maybe we wouldn't even be here right now. She did what with maybe if boys? She, excuse me? You said she sent something? She's sending you? sexual content videos to my homeboys. And she didn't think that it was going to get back to me. And maybe if she was she honest. to your friends and didn't think your friends would say anything to <laughs> you? I said the same thing. But if I was to do something like that to her I friends. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? No. You don't believe me? No. How you... I don't believe him either. You ain't do that, dude. So you tell no, me, so I you ain't seen no videos to nobody. So you tell me why he sent me some videos. Not no sexual clock, videos. Sexual, we have a video. We, I brought it to you right Where now. Oh, OK. Well, I, I see. Right Where video? Sexual I want to see it. Why? Right We're about right to okay, see. Let's get it. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, now it's, <gasps> yeah, definitely. Kimari! <laughs> see, this one makes me mad all over again. <laughs> that was his fault. Licking your tongue out Oh. Like that. That is... It's too much. 
It's too much. Oh, Lord. See, look at that. <laughs> Slapping her thighs. <laughs> Saying, come here. Oh, Lord. That's embarrassing. Do you see the way how y'all laughing? That is embarrassing. That's why I, I send videos to people. That's content that I create. Licking your tongue I out. Send, I send that to my daddy. I send that to my brother. That's family. So I guess I'm trying to go with my brother and my daddy too That's then. That's family. Your I guess honor, I'm, I guess I'm I trying to go with them too. Your honor. I guess I'm trying to be in love with them too. I guess we're going to do ancestry around here today. I think it's sexy. I think it's real sexy. She all, it is. She all juicy and chocolate. Well, why are you sending it to your father then and right. your brother? That's right. Because he's sexy. not looking My at My daughter better not send me no hypersexual stuff. She licking her tongue out, slapping her thighs. Hey, that's, that's showing him what you going to do. It's your baby. honor. You ain't done that with your father. Come on. Your honor. Your honor. I send all my videos to everybody in a group chat chain message. And they all have a caption on them that tell them, explain the caption. It goes with the song. So at the end of the day, I don't see no issue with it. Now, if I'm looking at his perspective, maybe it could have been something, but ain't nobody looking at me like that. That's content that I create. Licking your tongue I send, out. I send that to my daddy. I send that to my brother. That's family. So I guess I'm trying to go with my brother and my daddy too That's then. That's family. Your I guess honor, I'm just trying to go with them too. I think it's sexy. I think it's real sexy. She all, it ju is. She all juicy and chocolate. Well, why are you sending it to your father then and right. your brother? That's right. Because he's sexy. not looking My at My daughter better not send me no hypersexual stuff. She licking her tongue out, slapping her thighs. Hey, that's, that's showing him what you gonna do. Plaintiff Kiki Patrick is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims he broke up with Kiki after she sent sexual videos to his friends. And he has the videos in court today. Men look at things very different when they're in love. <sighs> don't you? He wasn't in love. Sir? Your Honor. Don't you look at things different when you're in love? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, to make sure not. Love don't go out and cheat. Love sit down and have a conversation and communicate about what's going on so you can get the understanding I of never what's cheated. going on. I never cheated. Yes, you did. So I guess, I guess, I guess Keisha just lying. How she know your birthmark at? Do I need to tell everybody where it's at? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. We're, we're not, we're oh, not okay. going there. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I... We're not, we're not going there. there. We're not going there. I'm over it. Only reason point. why she know my birthmark is because we went swimming, sir. That's that, the only reason she know. Sir, she been seeing that birthmark been seeing for that birthmark. a long time, Doc, when y'all fell in love. Your Honor, exactly. That, Your Honor, I done seen that birthmark exactly. more than his mama done seen it. Thank you. And know what to do. And know what to do. Playing with me, anyway. Boom. <laughs> well, how about when she cheated on me? I don't Parma. cheat. I ain't. I don't, well, who I'ma cheat with? I'm too honest. I'm OCD. I don't like a lot of people. Corona going around. Monkey punch going around. Who I'm finna cheat on, Judge? Me, Your Honor. How is she? How is Judge, ain't nobody got time for that. I got a son who got to get tested every week at school for Corona and everything because of what's going on. Why would I cheat? That's nasty. How is That's she OCD. Honest? How is she? Honest? I got sensitive skin. I'm not gonna break out. If I was cheating, you would see it. You will see it. Oh. I'll be over here itching and scratching, and he wouldn't it's know. He'll be you need to watch the men you cheat with. It's probably if not your men up. make you but itch I, and I'm scratch, just saying, why would you itch and scratch after seeing one of your men? I don't understand that. If uh -uh. I saw my man that day, I'd be itching and scratching. Why do your men make you itch and scratch? I'm trying to tell you, tell you that I'm just sensitive to people in general, so I'm not going to lay with no anybody, and you would know. Men make you itch and scratch or not? When they aggravate him. He make my well, behind be itch nice. when they aggravate well, I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go you know what y'all men do? <laughs> y'all men, hey, that's a stereotype. You see how she put everybody, she she no put everybody in one category? She put everybody in one yeah, category? Yeah, got stated, me in there. I don't put She's... nobody in no one category. Can we get some? I ain't even named the category yet. I ain't even listed you yet. Your Honor, she stated that she's being honest. She treats but you like this all the time. All the time. And you know, she feel like all her actions don't have consequences and repercussions. Since you're not going to get a young, handsome, smart man like this again. Thank you, sir. Who ain't? You ain't. Do not play with me. Your Honor, she stated she was honest, but I had to find out from my homeboy that she's been sending videos like that. So how are you saying you're honest and you're up here lying to him? I it, think she was trying. Lie, what did she say truth. under the caption when she sent them to your buddies? Did they there tell no you that? The caption was cut out. It was just straight videos. It was like, man. It didn't say 
Maybe some laughing emoji faces. Nothing, just straight videos. He was like, man, I don't want Man, not even, check this out. It is as funny as no, H. No, he was like, look, man, I thank your girl probably stepping out on me. Ma'am, you done put a caption under no that? Caption. The video come with a caption. Pardon? I need, I need to name sir, the social media platform on his own. But you gotta tell his friends why you sending him It's on the caption. That. Reading is fundamental. When you send a link somewhere, when you click on that link, it's right there at the bottom. It says it, it states it at the bottom what it is. What it say? The cash, as a matter of fact, the cash was on the video. Now, how it's not on the video as he give it sitting to y'all somehow, I don't know. Do you recall cash, what it said? I don't remember what it said. Because the it, question is, did it make so The much question stuff. is what impression it gave to his buddies. That's right. And what I'm suggesting a, is that if you were clear, uh, this is funny. I'm sending this because it's funny. I'm sending this for, tell them why you're sending it, then I'm with you. It's all right. But if you're just sending folks pictures that you believe, you said you thought it was sexy, he said he thought it was sexy, then the question becomes, did you do anything? No. That's All right. I did was just send the videos to everybody. Now, granted, if I make content like that all the time, whether it's like this, being funny, fully clothed or not, I send the same one. So why not tell him? But to my uh, homeboy, why, why not tell him homeboy? about every video? Why your homeboy? It make and sense. Your, why everybody not telling you about every video that I send him? I send the same videos the same way. So if I'm sending you stuff that regardless of me dancing, telling a skit, telling a joke, and I send you this one, I'm not looking at it like that. Right. I'm just looking. Like I'm sending Have you your content. Your homeboys ever you gotten look. any other videos from her? Just, they just sent me that one. They chose to send it. Did you up. ask? But that was, yeah, I did ask him. He was like, well, this one is a little too sexual. I don't know. This one, going. meaning they have, she has sent them ones in the past. But, there was, but he said, but he said that there wasn't no other ones that were sexual like that. That's just because he's a freak. <laughs> you know, everybody else ain't say that. He's a sex fiend. Ain't been seen he's a sex fiend. And he can't hard. even watch a woman doing exercise and entertaining in a fun and humorous way without thinking it's something sexual. He's just a sex Sex fiend. Don't put that on her because your friends are sex fiends and cheaters like you. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? You know you're right. Your Honor, she stated that she's being honest. She treated you like this all the time. All the time. And you know, she feel like all her acts don't have consequences and repercussions. You're not going to get a young, handsome, smart man like this again. Thank you, sir. Who ain't? You ain't. Do not play with me. Your Honor, she stated she was honest, but I had to find out from my homeboy that she's been sending videos like that. So how are you saying you're honest and you're up here lying to him? Plaintiff Kiki Patrick is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims he broke up with Kiki after she sent sexual videos to his friends. And he has the videos in court today. Let's talk about the property damage so we can get him out of here. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Yes, what So. Else? Me and him get to arguing like any other couple would do, and all of a sudden, he just go throw my computer, crash dead across the heart of the wall. Like, for what? For what? All because we're having a conversation. I'd rather talk than be physical. Then, what really made it bad, he, he get my son clothes and bleach them. Like, we start the argument, we calm down. You go in my son's room, grab all his stuff, grab mm. his things, random stuff, and start bleaching it. So I kick you out. Now that I kick you out, you out there beating on my car. I'm just hearing my alarm go off like, what is that? D, 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 D. Now I'm like, my little battery by dead. So it shouldn't be that loud. Come to find out, he out there having a field day. Acting like he had tap dance or something. Kicking my car. Now I should have called the police, but I didn't. At the end of the day, I just went on ahead and got my evidence together. And as you can see on pages six through seven, you'll see the photos of the computer. Okay. On page eight, you will see more of the, you will see the price of the computer. And on page nine, you will see picture of my baby clothes. That's right. Sir, what do you have to say to this? Um, she definitely deserved it. She deserved it. Why? She deserved it because Why? You know, she's, she, she's definitely stepped out on me. And she's sending videos like this to my Because she boy. broke your heart. Yes, definitely. You and, were I, and I really, and I really, I really did care for her. And you know, the, the kid didn't deserve it, but then he did. Then he, then again, he did deserve it because you know, kids know everything. Why? And I felt like the kid. Why did you bleach? Why did you bleach her clothes? The kid was in on it. The kid was in on it. And why didn't you bleach her usually clothes? The kids, usually, the, excuse me. Why didn't you bleach her clothes? Because the kid was in on it. Usually the kids, t usually the kids. In on it, but she was the principal. She was the one you had a beef with. She was the one going in on you. 
Why didn't you? You scared of her. That's what Where it was. The kid you ain't got to tell me. He's seven years old. You scared of her. He don't look at my phone, look at no test messages. No, I'm Jack saying he, I'm asking, he that's I'm that's asking why she kid, went, he went after your role. son instead of Yo, you. Yo, kick my car and everything. All right, I'm going to grant you your judgment, ma'am. Judgment for the play. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Like I thought. Yeah. Can he please leave her? He just mad because he can't have this. Who can have this? Plaintiff Jason Hammond worked with the defendant and they became friends. Jason claims the defendant's wife left him after he accidentally butt dialed her while he was with another woman. So Jason loaned him his car to help out. However, he's suing for unpaid tolls, car insurance, and a door panel. Defendant Corey Bresnan admits that he borrowed Jason's car, but insists he only needed it because he was involved in an accident in his own vehicle. Corey claims he never agreed to pay insurance on Jason's car and denies owing him for anything. Start with you. Basically in 2008, I met the defendant. We hit it off well, became good friends, did a lot of side jobs together and uh, basically told me about his past. I thought you were about to say y'all did a lot of drugs together. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. Go uh, ahead. We did a lot of work together and uh, basically uh, we hit it off really well. He had a bad past. He was, you know, former in a gang and a lot of bad history and I seen that he changed his life around and had a good side what to him. What city so. from? Chicago. Go ahead. So basically uh, we hit it off. We continue to be friends. Then um, November 2014, uh, he butt dialed his wife while he was uh, with you another what? woman. Butt dialed his wife. Wasn't November. Oh, okay. That's when you're sitting down or whatever on your phone and mistakenly dial someone. Yeah, and she kind of overheard him. She overheard him doing what? I guess uh, oral sex. Oh, jeez. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, okay, so you tell us that why. Why do you want to tell us the man? <laughs> tell us the man's business. Why? So basically, they split up. They only had one vehicle. Um, okay, so that's what I wanted we get to help to. him All out right. as a friend. I felt bad for him and his children, so I loaned him my vehicle that was All supposed right. to be for a short period of time. Okay, let me before we get to the specifics. Uh, let me hear from you, sir. He came on my job site back in, I think it was 2007, actually, and he was a little lost puppy dog. Told me his whole life story in eight hours. I basically told him he better step up because he was in one room for the whole eight hours and he was really slow. I said, you might get fired if you don't step up. And like you said, we hit it off, did a lot of side work together. And what type of work do you guys do? Carpenters. Good. Flooring. Yeah, he let me borrow his vehicle. We got, I got in a car accident and she texted and driving and smashed me in a red light and I lost a vehicle. I was out of work for six months, lost my house, my marriage fell apart. And then he borrowed me his Say vehicle. Say how it happened again. Something about the text. What are you some saying? Lady, I was at a red light, and some lady was texting and driving and smashed me 50 miles an hour and took me out of work for six months. That's why I borrowed his vehicle, because my other car was totaled. Okay. And, and why did your wife and the two of you get divorced or what and Not because of what he said, okay. but uh, it just... Okay. Tell me the specifics as to why he owes the uh, tolls. I use my own iPass, and I... And Let me ask. I'm talking oh. to you. Go ahead. Uh, the reason he owes tolls is because uh, he never registered the transponder to the license plate, and that's how the iPass works. I have uh, proof of the violations that I had to pay. I see it. Any violations occurred under his uh, control yeah. of the car? Yes. And the car insurance? Um, basically that I told him that I wasn't going to let him use the vehicle for free, that I want him to cover the uh, car insurance. How long did you intend to allow him? It was only supposed to be for two weeks at first. And then he begged and pleaded for a little more time. So I felt bad for him. So I told him that he could use it a little more. And then I tried getting my car back like a few months later. And he kind of was avoiding me because he fell into a, you know, kind of like a dark hole with everything that was going on. So um, I. How long did he have it? Uh, it turned out to be almost five months, about four and a half months. And he was to pay the insurance for? I told him to give me 150 a month. All right, so that, how much do you want for insurance total today? 600 on right. insurance. And the door panel you're suing him about, a car yes, door panel? Yes, I have a picture of that as well. What did he do? Uh, there's a big burn in it. 
And when you mention these things to him, what has he said? He said that he uh, really didn't know much about it and that uh, he was sorry for whatever occurred and he would try to make it right. He didn't know much about the insurance, the door panel, or the iPad. The burn. The iPad I knew about, but everything else, no. The car insurance? No. I have my own car insurance and I'm able to drive other people's cars. Right. That and sounds logical because most insurance companies, <laughs> they insure whatever car you drive. I tried getting a hold of them, couldn't reach them, told them I wanted them, my car back. Um, oh, sir, you failed to give him his car back when he requested? No, he asked for it the one time and he showed up and he took his car and he noticed the cigarette burn. That I don't know, I drove in the driver's seat, I smoked with my left hand and I never had a passenger in that car, except my 12 year old son. Nick, girl. Yeah. That was in her car. That girl. <laughs> Did he mention this insurance issue to you Never. before? I said, you're, I'm not paying it. I've had my own insurance, and you need insurance no matter what for that vehicle. I have a statement from his wife. What is that? What is this going to tell me? <laughs> Gets the wife to put him out? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't put me out. Yeah, she did put no, you she out. Did. She didn't We lost leave. our house. We both got out because of the car accident. We lost everything. She didn't put me out. Where did you go? I just went to Elmwood Park to my uncle's house. Two bedroom you didn't condo. You go with her? No. You got put out. She went to her mom's because in a two bedroom condo. Mother wouldn't let you over there. You got put out. No. As Corey's bride, witness Corey agreed to pay 150 months to insure Jason's vehicle. All right. Since y'all get along so well, I'm a believer. <laughs> <laughs> I have more uh, evidence to you. What is that evidence you have? Uh, for when I picked panel? up the truck, I was on the way to a wake, and I happened to open the center console. And when I went to grab tissue, I noticed that it was full of marijuana. All right, so what damage did that cause? I just wanted to show you that I had to stop and vacuum it out so I wouldn't get arrested. You should quit smoking right. marijuana then. Yeah, so you know I know that. <laughs> you know I know better than that. That's what I'm asking. What damage did that cause? You know y'all both smoking Ladies weed. Day. Your Honor, I never came after him for twice the car breaking down on me, on him. A U-joint broke. That's not for me just driving the car for three months. A starter wear that he put on wrong went out, and I had to fix that. I spent twelve hundred dollars on that to fix well, the vehicle. Well, all I can say, sir, is so. uh, your wife, who you said never put you out, y'all cool, no problem. She said you owe the six hundred. Yeah. So if you believe in her, I believe in her. Judgment for the plaintiff: one thousand six hundred forty. You don't want your judgment. <laughs> right, go ahead. Never mind. You take it. Yeah, I'll take All it. All right, $1,642 is the adjustment. I'm going to work. That's it. I'd like to continue to stay friends with him. I felt bad for him and wanted to help him in time of need. Just some people get the short end of the straw. Plaintiff Tierra McCullough dated the defendant, and they planned on getting married but the defendant became jealous and abusive. Tierra claims the defendant constantly accused her of cheating, so much so that he drove her to do it. Tierra is suing her ex for a loan, property damage, and emotional distress. Defendant Michael Jarrett says he never planned on marrying Tierra, and the only reason he's being sued is because he doesn't want to be with her. Michael claims he broke up with Tierra because she was lazy and didn't want to get a job, and he's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. I met Michael online back in August. Well, we started talking August 24th of 2014, mm -hmm. and everything was good and great the way it's supposed to be and everything, and we was due to get married. Um, we even did as much as going downtown, doing the paperwork for our marriage license and everything, and supposed to went to the courthouse the next day to do our dues and everything. That part didn't come about. Within like a couple of weeks or so later down the line, he became more so jealous and became abusive physically and verbally towards me. Um, he was insecure about different, several things. Um, I was always steady being accused of cheating, which I wasn't doing. And so after the fact of it being brought back to me that he didn't have several different women in my house by two different neighbors and came back and told me. so. Me steady being accused of it, I eventually, yes, did go and do it. Um, I was... Hold on. <laughs> you try to jump past that so quick. It's just a lot of... Because you were accused of cheating, that's the only reason you cheated. 
Basically, yes. Basically. Uh, yes. Go ahead. But well, in he his case, kept accusing you. You just <laughs> gave in. In his case, I was sleeping with all type of men, any men that came across my path, women, my mm -hmm. sons, friends, everything, anything walking, I was with them. Let him tell it, which right. was not the case at all. It wasn't the case. It was just one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, accusing her of all them men. It was just <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some background from you, <laughs> sir. Well, and then we're going to get into this abuse. I pray that she's not right about that. Go ahead. Well, Your Honor, uh, as far as the relationship goes, we met for the first time online, and we started, we met in person on New Year's Eve, January 2014. As far as us getting married, that's pretty much the only reason I feel we're here, because I didn't want to be with her. Why? What because she, she was what? lazy. She was lazy. She didn't want to get a job. I mean, all she wanted to do was sit at home and watch your TV show. Cause what was it? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's it. That's all she you wanted to do, right. sit at home. But she didn't have to do nothing. You're the man. You should have went to work and let her watch me all she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> While I was there, while I was there, only uh, real bill she had, cause she was on, she on housing or whatever it is, and uh, only real bill she had was a light bill. She wanted me to pay that and her cell phone bill. I ain't had no problem doing that while I was there. Even after I, we separated, I still paid her light bill again, and I hadn't been there. And uh, as far as the whole cheating thing go, Your Honor, I never started accusing her of cheating until she started accusing me of cheating. The relationship to me was never really serious. I came, I used to come to her house, take a shower, change clothes, and I was back out the door. And my auntie is the witness to that. And, uh, cause she was, she was my ride, basically. I would come there, change, take a shower, change clothes, and I'd be right back out the door. While I'm there, she got Where her would hand you up. Where sleep? Probably with another woman. Mm. Uh, every night? Mm -hmm. Either there or with another woman. Why? I mean, because the relationship was never serious to me. So why didn't you just stay with the other woman? Mm -hmm. I mean, I did eventually. Now, why didn't you stay with her when you found out the relationship wasn't serious? You were using her? I wasn't using her. OK. You just living off her I was... and living off of another woman, whoever lets you in to wash up that night. And then the next one, whoever lets you spend the night. And then another one, if they let you just sit there on the couch for a little while. Mm -hmm. Or another one, if you wash the dishes, you can stay there. <laughs> you be ashamed of yourself. What you suing him for, ma'am? Um. $2,210. <laughs> Big old man like this. I had to sleep. I just let me wash up. <laughs> then I went over there and spent the night. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. These are the embarrassment. Um, one is because, one is because what else? of my bathroom door. He damaged my bathroom door because he thought that I was in the bathroom on the phone with another man, which I wasn't. I was talking to a woman the whole time, and he punched a hole in my bathroom door. I had to get a brand new door. What it was, he was staying with me. He was, in, he got arrested in April. For what? Well, no, he got out in April. He got arrested in June, in January. And I was there by his side through it all the whole time that he was in there, putting money on books, everything. Every, you name it, I was doing it for him. No hesitations, no problems whatsoever. Um, by the time of September 10th, um, at that particular day, I was babysitting two small kids, a five-month-old and a three-year-old at the time. And I had the five-month-old in my hand when he was fighting me. Um, I have pictures of the first slap that he gave me the day of the f when the fight took place September 10th, where his handprint is on the side of my face. So, did you ever have him arrested and prosecuted? Um, I did call the police, but nothing... How many nothing... times did he assault you? Let's start there. Three times. Describe what happened. Um, it was a status on Facebook about how many people have you slept with, have your mate slept with in 2015, and he asked me. So, we got into it about that, the status or whatever and whatnot, and he got upset, called me all out my name, cussed me out, and hit me in my mouth. Um, Next time? He got mad, beat me up, um, kicked me, punched me, everything. I had a big bruise on the side of my side, my left side for about two weeks. To him, it was funny. It was a joke. Uh, it was, uh, I got what I deserved. After the second fight is when he left. So then, by the time that he moved back in, I was keeping the kids I was babysitting for, and it had originally started from the day before that. 
um, me and the mother and the kids, I went out somewhere, and he thought that he seen me somewhere I really wasn't. He so thought, you all were dating again by this? No, we, we wasn't mm -hmm. dating. It was a, he didn't want to be with me, but he don't want nobody else with me either. But he wanted to play the role of him still being my boyfriend mm -hmm. at so the same time. So he saw you out? Um, he thought he saw me somewhere where I really wasn't, thought I was doing some things I really wasn't. Um, so the next day, me and the kids left. When he comes in with his cousin, then he, we gets into it and everything. So basically, he took his shirt off and he hit me in my face with the shirt. So we throwing the shirt back and forth and whatnot. And he sits there and he cussing me out or whatever and he slapped me in my face, which I fell over on a baby, but not to hurt him or harm him or anything like that. Um, so called I called the police the, that time. You weren't even yeah. dating, so I'm sure you I called. called the pol well, my witness called the police because I had the baby in my hand. Mm -hmm. I was holding the baby, and he wouldn't let me out the bedroom door. He was on the bedroom doors where I couldn't get out the bedroom. And I kept screaming and hollering for his cousin to come and help me, to come in the room to help me, and he wouldn't... So when the police no came, nothing. what happened? He was gone by the time the police came. Um, you his made a aunt report? was there. I made the report, got the police report number. You see the report. Did they ever go after him? Um, see it, that I know of, they are still investigating. I don't know what else is taking place on it. Okay. All right, and that's the status right now? Um, so far, I, right now, I have an order, a two-year order of protection against him right yeah, now. I see it. This is your emotional distress? Right. Of I also you have want. the pictures. That's the majority of your case, right? I also have the pictures from with okay. his handprint on it. Let's see it. Sir, what do you say to this? As far as me putting my hands on her, I did not slap her. Whoever handprint that is, I may, I do not know. As far as me uh, trying to hold her in the room and everything, my whole purpose of going to her house that day was to get my stuff and leave. Mm -hmm. So why would I be trying to hold her? Why would I be trying to hold her in the room? I was trying to get out the room. She was blocking the door, talking about no less talk. And as far as me kicking her and beating her up and pushing her down and all that. I wear a size 14 shoe and my hand is, is you see my hand. Come on now, if I kick her, it's gonna do some damage and I believe she would have had press charges. Ma'am? Which I did, but so far nothing has been done. Sir, without this protection order she had to get on you. They granted her a protection order. I don't know, I mean, because by the time they caught up with me to serve it, the court date was already passed. So I mean, that's probably why. I didn't have a chance to go defend myself in that mm -hmm. matter. They caught up with you to serve you? Yep, yeah, because I didn't know they was looking for me. And you received it in your hand? Yes, service? sir, from the police. All right. Police served you with a protection order that had already expired. Right. They, they served me like, what was they it? They said, here, we got a service for you. No need in coming to court because... So I don't know why we're really giving you this. This is old and expired and doesn't even make any they sense. Served but me. They served me. They served me. The court date was supposed to be, in, I think, September 27th or 29th or mm -hmm. one of those days or something like that. Mm -hmm. They served me on September 30. On September 30th. All right. This says October 13. Right. Right. Sir, it was only <laughs> filed on October. 13. Your counterclaim for 500 is for what, sir? For uh, how does me? she owe you? I mean, she, she lying on me. I mean, <laughs> okay. Right. Well, the evidence is clear. This was filed October 13. Right. That's just the paper she brought. This says you on have any paper, sir? No, I don't. They served you. No, I don't. All right. Let me get you out of here because you're talking and looking all tough and beating on women. I can see these marks here and you looking like you all that. I don't care how big you are. Somebody will beat the devil out of you. <laughs> have a good day. Judge me for the claim. Your counterclaim is dismissed. I'm happy to be away from her. As far as the restraining order or whatever that goes, she did me a favor because I want nothing to do with her. When he pushed me, I filed charges against him for my daughter and myself. And he slapped and me in I, front of her, so yes. she's seen him slap me. I seen the entire thing. Plaintiff Teray Dokes has been friends with the defendant for over 10 years. And since they're both bisexual, they even had sex from time to time. Teray claims when the defendant gets drunk, she needs constant babysitting. And Teray's suing her today for a collections bill. Defendant Ashley Matthews insists that she does not need any babysitting when she drinks. But she admits that she stopped drinking because she doesn't like herself when she's intoxicated. 
Ashley feels Ture is suing her prematurely. Let me get some background from you first. Okay. Um, me and Ashley, we were friends for 10 plus years. We went to high school together, we went to college together, and we were also roommates. Um, me and Ashley, I'm bisexual and so is Ashley. We've had sex together, um, and that's just how close we really are. Um, she act like this is the first time she's hearing it. <laughs> I didn't know we was, I didn't know we was diving in that early. It's cool, keep going. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, we, we're really close, but being close with Ashley and being friends with Ashley, it comes with a price. Um, Ashley, when Ashley decides to go so out... So you are roommates. When the guy come by, who would... I mean, somebody would have to leave, or... Nope. Well, we, wouldn't no, somebody a, be jealous? It was nope. a two-bedroom two apartment. Um, she had her own space. I had my own space. We you were wouldn't not get together. jealous? We were not together. We were just friends. We, I mean, it Okay. Was, to each his own. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, um... So, basically, um, when Ashley gets drunk... She gets drunk, and you have to babysit her. In May of 2013, on her graduation night, um, me and Ashley, we actually got into a pretty big brawl. Like, me and her actually got into a fight. We were in the club. She, Ashley was smacking on a, boy, on a man in the club, and we actually, me and my best friend, had to stop her from, or stop him from punching her in, punching her in the face, for the most part. Why was she smacking him? She was drunk, period. So she's a mean drunk? Um, Violent drunk? She's a... She's she's an interesting drunk. All right. <laughs> friendly drunk, that's what it is. Let me hear Too from friendly. you, ma'am. You want to give me some background, then we'll like, get into the collections bill. First of all, don't fall for the okie doke. I don't need no babysitter. <laughs> right. Um, and I actually stopped drinking, though, because I don't like myself when I drink. But You're mean, nasty um, drunk? No, I'm not a mean, nasty what drunk. I'm mean? actually a friendly drunk. I'm just overly friendly, and I highly doubt he was going to punch me. If anything else, he would have done completely Second guy in the face, <laughs> right. He wasn't going to punch you, though. He liked it. Okay. But anyway, um, like she said, we've known each other for a very long time. And because of that, I know this woman very well. And <laughs> she's completely twisting and turning this to, to suit her intentions at the moment. Because in all actuality, she is the angry, ill-tempered bully that I know so well okay. that I've come to love. And she's admitted it on several occasions. And, I, and actually, after our whole fight um, on my graduation night, she came to me and admit, admitted that she was wrong. She came to me and said, I shouldn't have put my hands on you. She came to me and said, I talked to my mom, and she told me, you know, maybe I shouldn't have put my hands That's not on you. You describe what happened. While we're out on the party bus and clubbing and everything, there's no issues, there's no altercations. When we get to the hotel room, however, there was a young lady I was interested in. And the guy who introduced us, um, it just so happens that they had a thing going on. And they kind of just wanted me to pull, pull me into the mix, which I had expressed I wasn't OK with prior. So I tried to leave the hotel room. So I grabbed my keys and my bag. And I'm like, OK, I'm just going to take my stuff down to my car. Screw this. Teray decides to insert herself between me and the exit. I take her keys. Holy and man. she attempts to take my keys, which is the problem, because don't touch me when I'm mad. When I'm upset, you, if you've been my friend for 10 plus years, five plus years, you know don't touch me when I'm mad. I express that. I'm pissed off. Don't touch me. And I'm pretty sure I said that in the moment. And I said, don't touch me when I'm mad. I'm not leaving, which is her concern. She voiced her issue was that I was about to drive drunk, which was not the case. I said, I am not leaving you because you are, I am your ride. You have been with me this whole day. I'm not leaving you. I just need to separate myself mm -hmm. because then I'm what? pissed off. Then what? So I grab my bag. I'm trying to leave. She goes to grab my keys. I don't touch me. I'm mad. These are my keys. This is my room. This is my party. I'm going to walk out of the door if I want to. No, Ashley, you're not going nowhere. Give me them keys, whatever the situation was, whatever was said. So I put my bag down, and I said, no, I need you to move out of the way. I'm about to walk out the door. When she goes to grab my keys again, after me saying don't, I push her away from me, or I put, try to push past her to get out of the door, because I'm not about to argue with you about what I'm, I'm grown. I'm, you're not about to tell me what I am not going to do. Like, if you wanted to see if I was going to drive, well, you should have very well followed okay, me to the car. OK, what happened? So <laughs> she pr goes on to swing at me. So we, just, we had a brawl in, in the hotel room. Um, 
we had a friend uh, who was breaking up the fight, something like a 6'3 linebacker is what he looked like. <laughs> And us small females, the only reason we didn't get at each other like it could have gotten bad is because he was throwing us across the room. Um, the fight ended and she persisted <laughs> to disrespect me by throwing a drink in my face after it was all said and done. So I told her I wasn't her friend. I'm done. Like, I'm not your friend. You We're not cool. Your we just don't live together. You did and resume your friendship? After, after she came and apologized to me. After okay. she apologized, after she came and apologized she just well. lied and said she didn't say. Okay. So what are we suing for today? <laughs> I'm suing for a uh, collections bill. Basically, in May of 2012, we moved into this apartment. In May of 2013, we moved out. We both knew that we had uh, an, an, an outstanding bill um, that we needed to pay and that we needed to take care of. In February of 2015, I received collection notices in the mail telling us that we uh, owed $1,855. I have the... Um, the original receipt, basically with the with the information, mm -hmm. um, and so in May of 2015, um, I actually got that amount lowered to 12.06, and I ended up paying off the entire amount, um, which I have also with my you bank see? statement. And when you spoke with her about paying her share, what has she said? So in August, on August 5th, I, I, she sent me a text message and she told me that she would, she, per her words, I'm going to give you your money when I get my school refund at the end of this month. Um, later in, she said it would be the week of the 28th, which was, we were talking uh, in August, okay. August, August 2015. Um, I gave her until the end of September to try to give me anything and she never gave me anything. So I'm here. All right, ma'am, what do you say to this? Um, prior to that conversation through text message about me giving her something from my student loans, we had several conversations before 2015 um, because I moved back to our hometown in June. June, of yeah, in June of 2015. So at the beginning of the year, I was living in Texas, and I'm pretty sure. Um, she called me while I was there and said, "Hey, we need to pay this." I said, well, I don't have it right now because at the time um, I was trying to get my car back. Um, I got caught up with some female. All right. Long story short. So, Who are you <laughs> and these women? Yeah, yeah. I'm a sucker you for the ladies. Get your, but, uh, yeah, get your life together. I know. I need to just hop the fence chasing again. Chasing women all the time. It's trouble. But anyway, so. When you going to so chase men? You say you're bisexual. That's what I started sexual. with. The men did me wrong. I tried the women. I don't know. Well, it's time to go back. <laughs> I think so. You ain't having no luck here They're either. You're not having any problems. luck with the women. No, but... Um, start all over. When I was in... <laughs> all right. right. I do need to start... Go back start. home. That's why I'm back at home, actually, by her request. I'm not talking about that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just having fun right. with you. And... But uh, when I was in Texas, she requested that I give her my portion of it when I had it. She said, I'm going to go ahead and take care of it because she wanted to move into her place, which I understood. If I had it, I would have given it to her at the time. But I didn't, so she said, give it to me when you got it. She was trying to get me to move back home, so I said, you know what? I'm going to make this move back home. When I get there and get my job going and get settled, I'm going to start giving you, I'm going to start paying on this. So what's the, the defense today? Um, that after we had, because she told me we didn't have a, a written agreement. Mm -hmm. It was left one. in the air mm -hmm. at give it to me when you can. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a time frame. There wasn't a, but you gave me a, a mandate or anything. She but you, you gave, gave me a date. Um, I have text messages to prove I'm it. sorry. Oh, no, but there's a voicemail that happened before the text message on in July the of 2015, which said in 2015 in July, which says that I had six months but to give her you, this $500 which is prior to the text message that I sent her about giving her some of my student refund, which was in August, which actually didn't happen until later. On August 20th. Because I didn't get it. Because I didn't of get August my 20th. refund. Yes, of August, July, you told August, me I had six yes. months. August, I attempted to give you some money, but I didn't get it. And then you sued me, which my friends don't do. You're in I breach of contract, friend, according to this. To you, according to if your you voicemail, friend, I wouldn't. I would, we wouldn't be here. My friends you don't. My friend, friends don't. I wouldn't sue be me. here. This is a the verbal contract, agreement, and I is, called you and, and told you that. This is written agreement. This is a which happens after July. That's August. This is July. Law school, engineering. <laughs> you're making a good case. 
And it is the last agreement, as she says, the last discussion. You're making reference to a it doesn't, previous discussion. It doesn't discussion. matter what I text oh, her. That, yes, that does matter. It, it, was, it, was, it, it was an attempt. It was an no, attempt. No, it was an attempt. You have evidence of the last yeah, it was an attempt. discussion. It was an attempt it's to, to carry the out the agreement that we had prior. Correct. It was an attempt to, and you didn't. So um, if you attempted to and you didn't, she threatened that's, to called, me, that's I'm called the breach. Of course I'm going to threaten to sue you. I'm not going to pay me the money. Right. Like you uh, yes, you are. You're going to pay her today. $603 is your judgment. Thank you, Judge. Her last agreement was to pay you, and that was August 20th, and she gave a specific time frame, and that was it will be the week of the 28th. Thank you. All right. Judgment for the plan. Friendship's over. I, just, I got what I wanted. I got my money. She's done. She's her friendship is a <laughs> complete That's joke. fine. I said She's that a, a joke. long time ago. This You're friendship a joke. ended before You're we a joke. got here. Plaintiff Anthony Little says in the 60s he had a fling with the defendant's mother, and she ended up pregnant. However, Anthony claims the defendant's mom was sleeping around. And based on that, and because of the way the defendant acts, he has doubts about being his father. So he petitioned the court for a DNA test, and Anthony's suing for a stolen dog. Defendant Carlos Dennis says in his 47 years of life, he never had a relationship with Anthony until a year ago when Carlos reached out to him. Carlos claims Anthony has 12 children, but only eight of them even claim Anthony because the other four want nothing to do with him. He's countersuing for dog boarding expenses. Start with you. I met his mom about in 60, and uh, we had a little fling. She, she got pregnant and uh, made him. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I was born in 67, just so you know. Shut up, I ain't listening to you. Uh, when I came out to service, uh, you know, back in the day of free love and everything, we had a fling. Mm -hmm. We did our thing, and she got pregnant. You like got this. her pregnant, though. Yeah. Okay. But but there was more people than me. That's why I'm asking for the DNA. I don't know if he mine or not. The way he acts, I don't How know. How many times have you asked in the past for a paternity test? I never asked one. I was just, you know. I hope you paid child support for those first 18 years. No. Why? Not a dime. Because. Why, sir? Hey, shut up, man. No, this no, no sir, sir, sir. I want to hear this crazy talk. Uh, Why, I, I for was, 18 years, did I you I didn't not really know he was mine. Were you asked for child support? No. Actually, she didn't want anything from him. She wanted us to stay as far away from this piece of work as she could keep us. Did you believe he was your son or not? I didn't know. I didn't you know. You knew there was a chance? Could have been. I would, so like, why wouldn't you check it out to know whether you had a son or not and to know whether you had a responsibility well, I, to fulfill? Well, I lived in a different place, for one. What's that got to do with anything? Well, I didn't... Did you live on Mars? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't live All on right, Mars. All right, so you could have reached him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could have reached him, but I didn't. And you know, I it could have been a, your son. I made a, a crucial mistake. I okay. admit I wasn't the All best right, person in the world. All right, at least you're admitting it now. Well, I got it now. All yeah. right. I was trying to make it right. Oh, when man. when this jumped off, you know, he was coming to my house. We were smoking weed together, doing doing stuff. You know, we from Seattle. You know, weed is 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 legal. How and long had you been smoking it prior to that? Forever, <laughs> all my life. Oh, it wasn't legal then. Huh? Well, I was illegal. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> See, I like you. You're becoming more honest by the minute, yeah. and I'm getting more respect for you by the minute. Well, I'm trying to be honest. Minute. I'm at that age. That's you know, right. I ain't going to be here that long, and I'm trying That's to amend good. What, what I did wrong. You're a good and man. And I was trying to bond with this guy. You're a good man. But this guy had ulterior motives to come in my house and, and do what he did to me. You know, he, he, he threatened to slap the <laughs> out of me. He threatened to... Uh, uh, Take my stuff out of my house, but he, I didn't weed. have nothing he wanted. must have had some wanted. bad weed that day. <laughs> Why would he sir, suddenly want to smack fault. you, sir? What was that about? Well, you have to ask him. All right, why, why don't you to give to me smack. some background then? Okay, this is my biopop or biological father for is it, a better. Do frame. you know? 
Dude, shut up. Come on now. Now we've taken a paternity Jeez. test, I'm told, by my staff, so we will know. Go ahead, sir. Ah, uh, I didn't know he was my dad most of my life or my bio pup. At any rate, um, I reached out to him when his mother passed in June just to try to create a relationship with him. And oh, I said, why weren't you in our lives? Blah, blah, blah. He said I was a heroin addict, came back from the war, and I didn't have anything to contribute. I kind of accepted that and just still tried to create a relationship yeah, sir, with him. Sir, why didn't you tell me that? That what? even gives more insight that you were a heroin addict who came back oh, from well, Vietnam. Did you, you serve you in Vietnam? I didn't know all that. But huh? yeah, I was a heroin addict. Well, 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 once again, well, that gives a better understanding of why you may have abandoned your child. Children. More than one. Twelve. That is not true. That is twelve kids, no. How many? Eight. <laughs> that claim you. Eight that claim you. The other four don't want nothing to do with Shut you. Up. Did you Shut provide like for myself them, at this point. Uh, Did you provide for them? Uh, no, no. Like I said, I ain't the best person in the world. Okay, you weren't, made the best a lot of bad you weren't the best person eight times. You weren't the best person eight times. If that's what you, yeah, yeah. eight times. If you didn't I, had, I got eight for your kids. children, then how long were you on heroin? I don't know, about four or five years. Oh, okay, that certainly doesn't explain the neglect and abandonment of eight, he says, 12 children. So it's very sad, and I hope the young people watching uh, learn that uh, this is what happens when your dad abandons you. Let's get to the stolen dog that you're suing him for, and then we'll get to this paternity test. $3,000, sir. How does he owe you for a stolen dog for $3,000? Because he came and took my dog. Okay, tell me the circumstances. I, he took it under false pretenses. I tell him that uh, I couldn't keep the dog where I was staying. He said, oh, I'll take the dog and uh, take care of it for you uh, for three months, then I'll give it back. He comes to me and tell me he gave my dog away. Do you have any evidence of how much you paid for the dog? Uh, yeah, yeah. How much did him. you pay? Tell me about the dog, sir. He asked me to take care of the dog shortly after his mom died. Mm -hmm. And we didn't start communicating until like a little bit later. I found out where he lived, went to his house, brought my best friend with me. I've never seen this guy in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. You? Me neither, Let right? Finish. Who, Let him finish. I know you, fool. Sir, but who sir, are you? Mom sir. didn't raise no fools. Let him finish. He asked you to take the dog All right, for how great. long? He didn't say how long, he said, until he got a new apartment. Uh -huh. And I said, um, yeah, but you, I'm not just going to take care of your dog. You're going to have to help pay for his food and whatever. And uh, That was never said, Judge. Quiet, sir. Yeah. And what did he say? He said, OK. Um, and then I he said. He said he would take care of the dog. He said he would financially take care of now the you dog. you knew better and I, than wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you think he the dog was going to get a better deal than you? <laughs> 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 well, I knew yeah. I knew going in exactly what was going to happen. He would treat the dog as poorly as he treated myself and all of my siblings. And then when I brought it to his attention about taking care about the dog, I knew he was going to choose the dog over me. I knew this going in. It was it's not like I'm shocked by any means. I knew what I was dealing with. Mom told me before she passed who you were. I didn't hear her. I see it now. Did you return his dog and did he ask no, he, for it? I went over his, no, he didn't ask for the dog ever. In fact, from December all the way to late March, I had been going over his house, smoking him out with really good pot, yes. <laughs> um, just so happened Angel had gotten to an accident and she broke her fingernail. It cost a couple hundred dollars to get the it dog. fixed. The dog. Mm -hmm. um, show, the, show the proof of that, where she broke her ahead, fingernail. Sir. Go show ahead. the proof of me being your son, Pooh. Sir, we're going to see that. At any minute. rate, um, did he ask for the dog to be returned? He, no, he actually said, give me my, my dog back. And I said, Anthony, you're still in the apartment where you can't have the dog. What do you want me to do? He just started cussing me out and, and shuffled me out the door. And I hadn't heard hide nor hair for him okay. since. Why Not do you think word. he would sue you instead of uh, asking you because to return his dog? Because my grandma died and left me in a huge inheritance. And so he, uh, I, this is just my take. He assumes that I have all this extra money just to give to him.
Where's That's the right. dog now? You still have the dog? Uh, no, my cousin has the dog. <laughs> but I, um, he wanted his dog. He no, didn't he want didn't. He whoever never, he, to have it. Well, came he's to here visit today. The dog. He wants his dog, sir. Now, I got what that. proof do you I... have that it's three thousand dollars? He admits from, that he gave it to someone else. He should have given it back to you. What? Because from the time uh, I had the dog till till he took uh -huh. the dog, I was paying grooming. And, and, and different stuff how, with the How dog. long was that? It was like five and a half years. All right, but you enjoyed the company of that dog. Now, now if you want to sue I for did. emotional I distress, I can understand that. I, Is that what you want to... Yeah. Uh, th that should have been included in this? Mm -hmm. uh, with regard to your counterclaim, sir, 5000 for dog boarding expenses. Yes. How does he owe you for that? You say he agreed to pay you? Yes, and my best friend Gabriel and I. When's the last there. time you asked him for the money? I didn't ask him for a dime. So why are you asking, asking for today? A dime. Well, he wants a dog back, and he, we're out of the money for taking care of the dog. We're not keeping the dog. If he wants it back, he should pay for what he said he's going to pay, I would think. But he says he didn't agree, and so I would think that you would ask for your money before, particularly if you get in court and say, I didn't want a dime. Initially, I did say you have to contribute to, for your dog. And, and he you said, said no. You, no, he said he How would. How many times you going to make that loud? All you. right. Let's get the paternity test. Could I... Uh, what is that? You want to show, show my evidence? I bought the dog for a lady. She had a stroke. Mm -hmm. The lady called this guy not too long ago. He talked crazy to her. She, I bought the dog for her. You shouldn't have given her my phone number. See, what I, see how he talks? He's full of himself. He don't oh, have he no common you, sense. sir. That's well, what you got to understand. You know, but still, and that's why he... I keep wanting young men that are watching this today to understand what they're going to get. This is what you're going to get, young men, from your child who you had no relationship, you had no financial support all of their lives. This is what you're going to get. Nothing but disrespect, resentment, and really very close to hate. I don't hate him. And I don't even You're resent close him. To I don't it, even sir, know the way him. you talking, please. What you want to hear how he talks to me? I don't yeah, know. Talk to him. Hey, punk, you can't pick up the phone. Hey, I know where you can come down this hill, and I'll meet you down there, and I'll show you who the punk is. Yeah, Why don't you say anything I... about the dog? Huh? Why didn't you? Why no, didn't you say anything okay, about judge, the could dog? Could I explain my? Could I explain that? Yeah. Could I explain that? Yeah, sure. The lady that I gave the no, dog no, no. to. No, no, no. Why didn't you say anything about the dog on that tape? Because I was angry, Judge. Okay, so you weren't angry, angry about the dog, it doesn't appear, because you didn't mention no, the dog. Because so I'm going to conclude you didn't he... suffer any emotional distress, judge. particularly a tough guy like you, and you are his father. I'll grant you the amount that you paid for the dog. Your claim is dismissed. Have a good day, both of you. Can I get my stuff? And you're still not getting you. the dog back. Hey, man. You're not getting nothing. Something. And I know you where you live, remember? You live on you Yesler. You better watch your back, punk. I, really? You Bring watch it. your back. Run up or shut up, fool. You don't know me like that. We ain't got no relations. There ain't gonna be no relations. How can I be a relationship with this fool and he done stole my dog? He, 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 he's a... You're a joke. See what I mean? You're a f joke. How can dude. I be in a relationship That's the, that's the, the long and the short he of it is, you're joke. a joke. He's calling me a punk, and he's a punk and got Wait. a toy boy right there with him. He's the joke.